lovely people we are here at phase one grace city and this is another project that is just about to come up and i'm here once again with our experienced engineer engineer desmond and chief we are we are here again yes we are here uh, again. over here i'm seeing the board similar to um something i saw at phase three exactly but uh, i would like to know these white markings that i'm seeing if you can throw some light on on it for us what, what are these lines for okay so what we are doing this is the actual setting out that is being okay done. and over the, the period you were talking about uh, uh datum please enlighten us on datum enlighten so us so this is a datum okay the datum is the point this is the the point that we need the reason is that we want to know the space between the fence wall and the building okay and then between here and there so okay. we first establish this point okay so if you check we have what you call the, the grid lines yes now, i was going to ask what the grid line is a grid line we call it mingeth mingeth means i want to find the middle of the block okay so that's the main that's what we use so okay. that's those are the things that are given to us by the architects so does it mean that these nails are we going to have some um uh, ropes absolutely so it is the, the ropes and the lines that we are able to get what you are okay. seeing here so okay. what you are seeing is the marking out we did it yesterday okay. it's rained so they are all about cleaning but we will re remark it again okay. so we first use the uh the the, the line here mm -hmm. which is the the one the, the grid lines to be able to get us to get exactly to set our datum okay so once we are we are sure of this place because we need to have the building in a 90 degree yes so this datum tells us that we are on the right path so the datum is more or less like your reference our reference point point so okay. if anything should go wrong anywhere we will always come back to our datum where we started right. from to be able to help us do achieve what we have to achieve okay and like i was explaining if you look at all the grid lines that we have mm -hmm. we're able to mark out the foundation mark out the block works mm -hmm. so what happens is that these boards that you are seeing are still going to be here up to the time when we have been able to complete our footings okay so the casting of the foundation the digging of the trenches the working on the part and again over here too we are still employing the ordinary straight foundation. foundation yes i want to find out um if you look at this part of the land yeah um looks like you get some heaps Good. over here yeah is there going to be any form of leveling or this level is fine for work to begin so every project cannot be completed without leveling okay so we need your level instrument you need your uh, how do you call it your 90 degree as well mm -hmm. you need to always have all this since that's the building square okay so obviously as we are building when the building starts coming up we we'll start taking the level the various levels okay so when the building starts coming up exactly. that's when you start taking in it. fact even with the foundation right so after this particular point what happens is that the surveyors are going to come again they are going to give us what we call the reduced levels okay so they are going to tell us how our digging is going to be okay what what level should this place be what level should that place be would okay. we have to do a step foundation okay all those things the surveyors are able to determine so they're able to tell us so when the machine comes we tell them over here dig point three here dig point four here dig point two so it becomes easy for us to be able to work okay i earlier on heard you say something about arc yes i want you to explain to me what this arc is all about because i know you are the the other engineers had to pick some arc and radius and all that what is this arc about so an arc is uh, primarily let's say half of a, of a circle semicircle and mm -hmm. arc anything that is round and you know in modern architecture people want to have some round stuff in their building yes. some spirals we'll talk about all that later on right so as you can see here we have an arc over here yes i'm seeing an arc over yes here. so before we are able to come up with this arc what we have here is we're able to pick our radius okay so that we are able to drive the arc the way it's supposed to be in the building so okay. that's that's what happens okay so that's what the arc is mainly for exactly so the digging is is, is it going to be done on the marking exactly so, so that's the, the markings are the, are the very spots that the uh, in fact we are not going to use 
manual means. We use mechanical means. Me okay. And the machine is going to actually dig. The, the bucket is uh, uh, 450 mm. Okay. That's what it does. And that's exactly what we need for the foundation. Okay. So the back hole will come and will dig out all the, the, the trenches whilst we direct them on how to build, where to dig and all. Is there a standard uh, fit for the foundation? It depends on the, the type, type of, of building. building. It depends the height. on the height. It depends on the, on the soil layer okay. that you have. So there are various factors. All so right. obviously after your soil test and everything, the architect is supposed to even know and give you in the drawings the depth that you're supposed to dig for you to be able to get what you want to. But you don't have any common common um, um, feet or grounds. Let's see, worst case scenario, minimum of this or there's no number like well, that. Well, I know some people dig between two feet to four feet, it okay. depends. The other two who can go six feet, in fact, for some of them, we are even able to go 10 feet. It depends on oh. the type of structure. And then I'm guessing 10 feet, you are probably looking at a high rise. In fact, sometimes we even go, if you are doing the pile and beam, uh -huh. you can sometimes even go as deep as 30 feet. Wow. Yes. And for most of our uh, bridges, that's what happens. We have to dredge, dredge, dredge very deep into the earth. Okay. And be able to put in uh, concrete material then put the beam on top and then the flight. So this board around, what, what do we call this whole board? So are these we... boards are primarily for uh, us to be able to get our foundation. Okay. So our setting out. Setting out. Yes. Yeah, so out. the boards that we have here are just boards to be able to help us. In time past, people were using blocks, okay. but it is more accurate when we use the boards. All so right. So you're able to mark yourself out very well. So what is happening now is the marking out. The setting okay. out is complete. That in the marking out so we have the, the, the grid lines you can see you have a 6a 6b 6c yes. and a 7. Yes. over here we need the same thing here a 6a a 6b and a 7. so 7 will go to 7 6c to 6c that's what we do with the, with the grid lines okay. that we're able to have exactly what the paper has described what the architect has put uh, on the paper. Oh, on paper. Exactly. So this project has just begun or Absolutely. it's just about to begin. Yes. Okay. I think we have uh, enough information for starters. Exactly. Uh, we'll come back for, for the sequel. I mean, the subsequent information. The subsequent You're always answer. welcome. Uh, yes, thank you so much. Thank uh, you as well. You've, you've heard it for yourself. Um, this one has just begun, but trust us to keep you updated with the progress of this particular project. And one amazing thing about Royal Kingdom Estate is that even if we are not the, the ones building the units for you, if you are not the contractors for your project, you can still be rest assured that we'll be coming around to check that the right thing is done. And that is even the more reason why you should be comfortable enough to deal with us directly. So thank you once again, Chief. Thank you as well. And you watching us, again, our contact details are on your screen. Make sure to get in touch with us. If you want to save more in the subsequent future or with whatever project you are going to do, it's better you spend with the right people. It's better you engage the right professionals. Absolutely. And then you'll be sure enough that you are saved and covered for the future. See you in our next episode. Bye. Thanks. Bye.